Thank you so much for joining me again on this daily walk through the Bible. Today we're on the south side of our campus because I want to talk about uh, a book that references a country to the south of the Promised Land. So, south of the Promised Land was the nation of Edom. And the Old Testament book of Obadiah, which is our reading for today, just one chapter, is God's message about Edom. And the book of Edom can really be summarized in one phrase. My brother's keeper. Because God is holding the people of Edom responsible for not taking care of their brothers, God's people, in Jerusalem, Judah, and Israel. And so I'm walking here south of our campus to a place that reminds me of the whole idea of being a brother's keeper. You see, directly south of our campus, just like Edom was directly south of Israel, is Stony Creek. Now Stony Creek uh, is uh, a retirement community that was founded by members of our congregation uh, about 25 years ago, maybe 30 already. They weren't looking to help themselves. They were, as Christians, serving as their brother's keeper. They built this nonprofit as a retirement uh, community where many of our members live. And that's what God has called us to do. And, and the book of Obadiah is a reminder to us that our God has this plan that we take care of each other and he holds us accountable if we don't. The New Testament lesson is from Acts chapter 26, beginning at verse 19 through uh, Acts chapter 27. Uh, I have to check to see where it ends again. Uh, Acts 27, verse 8. And what strikes me about this section in the book of Acts is who is Luke's source? Because as you read through this last section of the book of Acts, Luke knows what's going on in uh, the palace of kings and governors. How does he know? Somebody must have been his witness, his informant. And in our lesson for today, the Apostle Paul is testifying to uh, the, the governor and king, and he prays that, that everybody who would hear him would become like he is, except without change, that they would become a follower of Jesus. And as I read this, I'm going, I believe that Paul's prayer was fulfilled. Somebody in that room became a follower of Jesus and then was your brother's keeper and mine because God used them, put them there right at that time so that they could be a witness, so that you and I could, could have Luke's record of what happened to the Apostle Paul and the courage that he had because he knew that Jesus had raised, was risen from the dead and that Paul would rise from the dead someday too. See, it's just a great reminder. We are always called to be our brother's keeper. And we are here at this place. We always don't know why, but we're here at this place according to God's plan. God bless your reading.